grateful for the time that you had with them in your life. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. What's going on? I hope everybody's having a great start to your Saturday, man. I want to appreciate you guys' time getting on this call, man. This is a very, very important call. Appreciate you guys taking time out of your Saturday to get on this call. I'm actually very excited about this call because we do have uh, some great leadership coming on to share some information with you guys. But uh, before we, we bring them on, I wanted to go through some things and you guys might've been wondering um, about the title of this Blueprint Train. The art of time travel. The art of time travel. Guys, time is so important. Time is so important. We all understand that we only have a limited amount of time on this earth. We only have a limited amount of time and we gotta, we gotta take this time serious. We gotta take this time very serious. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I lost a couple of people that uh, one of my very, very good friends um, about a week or so ago. And I lost a, uh, a, a teammate and a classmate um, a few days after that. So guys understand that take, 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 take your time serious. Take your loved ones serious. Take, uh, this opportunity series. If, if, it's so, if it's somebody that you need to reach out to, reach out to them. If it's somebody that you need to tell that you love them, tell them that you love them. You know, we take this thing very serious. Take time very serious, guys. But let's 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 dive into the to the topic of the art of time travel. Most of us on this call, most of us that get involved in the industry of network marketing or I am Mastery Academy. The, the what we're looking for, what we're looking for, our goal is financial freedom. That's the goal. Financial freedom is the goal. The only thing about it that we have to, um, that we definitely have to figure out is where financial freedom is. Financial freedom could be, for an example, financial freedom could be in Australia. And if financial freedom is in Australia, what's the quickest way to cut time to get to Australia? Most people will say, I need to take a jet. I need to take a plane to get to Australia. But there are some people who are taking a cruise ship. There are some people who are taking a paddle boat. There are some people who are trying to take a bus to Australia. And there are some people who are trying to catch an Uber to Australia. And I say all that to say you need to understand how to time travel. How, how are you going to speed this time up to get to the goal of financial freedom? Because financial freedom is, it, it, people think, okay, retirement age is 65. That might be for some people, but for some people it's 25. It's all based on time and how you see it and how you spend your time and what you do with your time. And one thing I want this organization to be known for. What I want this organization to understand, and one of my favorite quotes is, service to many leads to greatness. Serving, giving back, impacting other people, helping other people. Because in a world of takers, we have too, too, too many people that want to take. And in I Am Master Academy, we are blessed to have a awesome platform of educators who give, who give. And I, I, I can pretty much, in, in all honesty, say in my time with I Am Mastery Academy, I can go out on a limb and say 90% of the customers and the people within I Am Mastery are takers. Give me a signal. Send me a signal. I want a signal. Bingo. Mr. Bass Grant came up with a phenomenal platform and marketing idea for us. Bingo. Opportunity call, 100 people on the opportunity call at 7.30. And then at 8.10, 8.15, 8 
all of a sudden it's 300, 400 people. Where were those other people? You gotta be able to serve. Malik and Anthony, Devon and McKinley, they're serving the big team. That's how you win in this industry. You serve. You don't wanna constantly be a taker. Give me a signal, give me this, give me that, give me something. Because everyone is looking for the secret sauce, the secret sauce. And I, I, I wanna share a video that, that I thought would be kind of applicable to what we're talking about here. I, I wanna show this, Mr. Hussein Bolt. It's a bit about 10 seconds, guys. Watch this. World record holder, Hussein Bolt, the fastest man in the world. If you notice anything about him running, if you notice anything about him running, he was looking straight ahead. His head didn't look to the left, it didn't look to the right. It didn't look at anything else other than his destination, his goal of where he wanted to go. The world record, that's where he was going. He didn't care about what was going to the left, what was going to the right. What most of people, what most people do within Iron Master Academy, they do what this guy's doing. They look to the left and they look to the right. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. He probably could have beat Michael Phelps if he was focused on his goal, but he's looking to the left. He's looking to the right. Most people, we get, in, we, we get into this opportunity and we, we look at what this person is doing, what this organization is doing, what Trade House is doing, what MOO is doing, what this team is doing. Oh man, they're doing this. Instead of focusing on what Legacy is doing. I promise you, Mr. Bass Grant is one of the best in the world. One of the best in the world. But we want to look to the left, we want to look to the right because we're, we're, we're looking for the secret sauce to success, right? The number one thing when it comes to time traveling and increase and speeding up this goal to financial freedom is staying focused. And, I, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm saying this, and I'm not saying this out of that I'm some super successful person within the business. I want to cut down your time because I've been banging my head on the wall. I banged my head on the ceiling. I, I did everything, all this different stuff, trying to figure out how to win in trading and win in building. All right, you, you get these educators or people that quote unquote want to be educators and, and, and why in the blueprint we say, hey, these two telegram chats, these three, tele that's all you need to focus on. Because you're get, if an educator, let me, let, let me put this warning out. Because HFX is hot right now. HFX is the thing. Everybody, HFX, HFX, money in minutes. So you have people jumping on the bandwagon. And they want to, and if an educator takes you off of the go live, Christopher Terry has spent millions of dollars building go live for the educator to have their own platform. So if an educator takes you off of go live and say, hey, hop on my personal Zoom, I got the secret sauce. I got the magic. I got the level up sauce to get you where you want to go, but it's going to cost you $50. No. Come on back. Stop looking to the left. Stop looking to the right. Stop trying to find the secret sauce. Because guys, I promise you, the secret sauce is usually something you don't want to hear. The secret sauce is the education. If you have not gone through the academy, you're setting yourself up not to win. The secret sauce, you hear, you hear uh, Panda, he got on the team huddle. He said, I've gone through the academy 13, 14 times. Oh, Luke, you have? Multimedia, you know what I need to do? I gotta go through the academy 13, 14, 15 times. If you've gone through the academy one time, it's not enough. I promise you, it's not enough. You hear Maddie Pips, 
$9 million trading account, $10 million trading account. He tells you, I didn't get rich taking signals. I got rich because I got in the academy. I listened to Ness Velasquez. That's the stuff that you don't want to hear. I listened to Ness. I watched his, uh, I went through the academy. I watched it over and over and over and over and over again. I put the time in to learn this information. That's how you cut down on the time to financial freedom because you learn there's no, there's no back door to become a millionaire trader. You can't take enough signals to become a millionaire trader or six figure trade or seven figure, you can't do it. You have to be able to do this stuff on your own. And the only way you can do it is to get in the academy. Guys, it's, it, all educators are not made the same, just like all chairmen are not made the same. There are some organizations that are like, you gotta be on the elite pack plus the ECX plus anything to do anything with me. And they are P600. No, guys, I promise you, it, if you don't need the elite pack if you have not if you can't tell me what the what what emas are what are what kind of indicators the rsi is if you can't if you can't mark up your support resistance trend lines and tell me what the higher highs and the higher lows and the lower lows are if you can't tell me that you don't need the elite pack you don't need it you need to focus on the academy you need to focus on the go live educators that we all talk about. Matty Pips, Leo Panda, Millie Mills, DL Woods, Dr. Josh Lee, and Brandon Boy. If, you, if you're not plugging into Dr. Lee, you're doing yourself a disservice. I, I promise you, you're doing yourself a disservice because he's teaching, he's giving. He's teaching you exactly how to be successful. And then when, when you're focused, with your focus on your financial goal and your financial freedom, it has to be in alignment with the organization. It has to be in alignment with the organization. If the company, the company says, hey, we're going to create 1,000 chairmen within the company in 2021. And Mr. Bass Grant comes to the organization and says, we're going to create 50 chairmen and above within the legacy organization. 50. Now, if Mr. Bass Grant is I, I, he, super successful, knocking on chairman 100, if he says 50, I have to fit my alignment in with his alignment, with his focus. So if he says 50, I can't say 100. My alignment is with him, so I say myself and five others, so six, right? I'm following, following in alignment with the whole organization goals and what the vision he has, let me put my vision to him because it's about duplication. He's talking about 5,000 customers in bingo. And what is bingo? HFX. He didn't say 5,000 customers in Gold Cup. He didn't say 5,000 customers on US 30. He didn't say 5,000 customers in Pivot. Matter of fact, he didn't even say 5,000 customers using RS5P. That's our own strategy. He said 5,000 customers on bingo. So if you're looking to the right, looking to the left, and you're looking at other organizations, you're looking at this, you're looking at that, and you're just like, well, they doing this. That's them. Fit your focus and your alignment with what the organization is doing. Because if you have the organization going this way and you're looking that way, guess what? You're out there on your own. You're out there on your own. And this is a volunteer army. I'm just, I'm just trying to save you time because I did that. I got in all these telegram groups and I didn't go through the academy and I and I got on these personal zooms with these educators and paid money to try to get this that was nothing that was not in the academy. Everything you need is in the academy. It's in the academy. You don't need to go outside the academy to get where you want to go. Right? And the last thing, the second thing with the time travel. Mentorship show you guys this picture I, I and I've, I've i've talked about this several times 
This was 2010, 2011. This was Voltron. This was when I first got into the industry and network market. I had never really been around black men who were successful outside of playing sports. And I got into Organo Gold, that coffee company, great, co great company. But the greatest thing about that company, I saw people that looked like me and were winning big time. This is Mr. Bass Grant, Mr. Edward Harley, rest in peace, and Mr. David M. Monitier. And at that time, I think he, he was still being called David M. Monitier. Right? These were, Ed Harley was my upline. Bass used to be up here all the time. And these were the gentlemen who shaped majority of the Organo Gold organization because everyone wanted to be like them. They wanted to believe, they wanted to, to, to motivate people, inspire people like David. They wanted to be loved and have fun and, and make friends with everybody like Mr. Grant. And they wanted to have the analytical, analytical prowess like Mr. Edward Hartley and his posture to try to get to the next level of financial freedom. This is who you have access to that I don't think a lot of people really understand. And I, I won't, and I, and I don't talk about finances because I don't look at Mr. Grant like, oh, he's, I'm trying to get to the, his, it, the money. He's earned this money because of the impact that he's made in people's lives. He knows, he's no, he knows something that I don't know. We're the same age and he know he has some information that has created some serious success in his life that I have not yet seen. Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein said, the thinking that has brought you this far has created some thinking that this has created some problems that this thinking can't resolve. So mentorship is key. And this who we have direct personal access to, to share nugget and find out exactly what he did to become successful in the industry of network marketing, guys. And I'm so proud and I, I do appreciate his time and I don't wanna to take too much more time. So I see that he's on and I wanna bring him on to help share some information on this Saturday morning. I do appreciate his time. Mr. Grant, are you there? I am here, Tobias, can you hear me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. How's the uh, audio and everything coming out? Sounds good, sounds good. Fantastic, once again, do appreciate you, sir. and. Uh, Know, watching you just uh, you know serve the organization, definitely give them the uh, the info, the intellect, and uh, taking uh, you know me back down you know that memory lane um, when it comes to what they you used to call the three headed monster <laughs> back then. And uh, so I want everybody to who's on the call to uh, you know no matter where you are right now, hopefully you're in a safe place, you're not driving. I see uh, we're the only ones with our cameras on, uh, and that's fine. I always tell people when Zoom came out, uh, but I had a, a cut. Uh, even during COVID, when I was people couldn't get to the hair, to the hair appointment, I was still live on the camera. So, uh, so there is one thing that we and, and we're already in training mode. So, there's one thing you want to get very used to doing. Okay, I teach my daughter this also when she does the online class. I'm like, turn your camera on, turn your camera on, because if you need to ask a question, you need to do something. You know, you can't always just send messages in a chat. Okay, you know, see, you know, to be an entrepreneur, you can't be anonymous. Okay, you can write that down. If you want to be successful, you want to be an entrepreneur, okay? Now, if you're driving, no, if you're driving, no, turn it off. If you're driving, no, turn it off. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> but man, I appreciate that. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're definitely driving, safety first. But uh, if you park, you know, you know, you put it on, you know. Um, but I tell you, but when it comes to being successful, when it comes to being a boss, when it comes to having everything you want, you can't be anonymous, okay? The only thing that comes up uh, unannounced is life itself, okay? Life, life ain't gonna, life don't show up unannounced. Trust me, you know, everybody in here has experienced life. And last I checked, it doesn't come up uh, like, uh, you know, it, it don't let you know it's coming. Like, hey, I'm coming finna, I'm finna rock your world at nine o'clock in the morning, you know, with some bills. No, it comes out and it comes up unannounced. Uh, however you wanna say it, it'll come out to you like in a ski mask. It'll come out, it just, it'll, it'll scare the crap out you. And it's not, it's not afraid, okay? Um, you want to do the same. The reason why that is because as you are projecting what you want in life and you want to do, uh, one thing I was good at doing when I used to do video chats was I was always watching my hand movement, my body language, you know, because that's what people see. Now, uh, when you get to a place when you want to you know, get to the next level, 
if you want to be what they call uh, uh, set the foundation for legacy for your family. If your goal is chairman, do you really think you're going to be able to go chairman and not go on stage? No, the world needs to hear your story. So if Kendra goes chairman, you think they're going to say, congratulations, Kendra, chairman 10. Do you want to come and speak? No. Okay, next person. That's not how this works. You're a chairman in this company. So eventually one day you got to get in front of people and tell your story. You might as well start now. You might as well be used to, you know, being on the screen. Well, Bass, you don't understand, you know, I'm, um, you know, when I do these calls, when I do videos, when I, you know, my, my background's not the best, then you definitely should be doing it. Okay. Because they can respect your surroundings. Now, how you, how are they going to respect when you have those chandeliers? You know, you have that background and then, and now they want to come, they want to come now because you got the background. You know, I, I, I never really paid more. I never really paid attention to that. Okay. On our road to success. So when I, when I look back and Tobias told me, you know, you know, you know, being in the, in, in the game for such a long time, I keep forgetting how long I've been in. I've been doing this since 17. I tell people all the time and, you know, you winning at I am and people. And I think one of the questions that a guy, he's in another company. Okay. Some of you guys may know a company called it works. Okay. It's a lot of health and wellness companies out there. Uh, my good friend, uh, brother in Christ, uh, Jerry Wilkins, he's a, uh, he's an It Works. He's a six-figure earner, a very high six-figure earner in that company. He says, people don't understand your longevity. He says, Bash, you know, it's a lot of people out here who've done it, but to be an African-American man of 20-some plus years and every decade you've been in since the 90s, I said, man, you're right. I, was, I got in the industry in 97. <laughs> 97, I signed up, okay? And uh, I was in prepaid legal. OK, then in four years uh, after that journey at 21, I went full time. Then I joined a company called YTB, your traveling cruises. OK, hit, hit. And that's where I met David and Manitier. OK, my second company. I was a I was a young guy, three hundred sixty five dollars um, of income. You're talking about that long ago. You making three hundred sixty five dollars, three hundred sixty five thousand dollars back then. You know, then I went to Organo. That's where I really cut my teeth and became what they call the status now. And that's where that three-headed monster, you know, but again, that the levels. And then we come in I am. Now, I am for me, you know, then going to my late 30s, you're coming into an opportunity where it's predominantly, you know, built around millennials. I want you guys to pay attention to this here because your success in I am also is catered around your ability to adapt. That's how that's how success is. If you don't know how to adapt, if you don't know how to reinvent yourself you got to think about how successful people are like they they have to reinvent themselves to get to the next level so i got in and i studied and i'm saying okay david kept saying it's a lot of millennials i'm from the old school okay you guys know we got some people in here from the old school what real music was that you know now i'm an 80s baby now my uncles would tell them that the music was in the 60s and 70s you know but but either way i, I look at i listen to some of this stuff now i'm like Ain't no way you can box to that because we danced back then. These kids just stand on the wall and they on their phone. You know, we'll put the phone down and we'll jam. Some of y'all know that. We we go up in there. We like, give me some R&B, like some real R&B. But I understood that when it came to I am, I'm looking like it is predominantly young folk. So I started to study the young folk. They post more. They, uh, they, 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 it's always lights, camera, action. Now, what I brought with me was still my work ethic, though. I still brought my work ethic. But I said, okay, for me to be good in this company, I've been doing well for so long, I need to adapt and, tell, and start to identify more of the catered young folk. So what I started to do was, let's say I'm talking to Travis Taylor. And Travis, let's say me and him come from the same background. And Travis, because we come from that, 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 that background earlier, he ain't really getting the I am. But my studying told me, I don't know if Travis got a son, but let's say he had a 17, 18 year old son. I'm just, I don't think he does. Let's say he had a son, 18, 19. I would say, Travis, let me talk to your son. And I would then reach around and tell his son or his daughter. And they're like, man, it's the bomb. Well, if that's Travis Hart, Travis, can, he can't say no if his son wants to do it. The son, like, I think this looks good. Maybe we should do this. And he wants to do it. So I started to cater to, let me start reaching out to some millennials, some of these Generation Z, these 20, 25. I used to tell people in meetings, if you got anybody between 20, 25, and 30, you know, that's kind of had that mindset, you know, get them on the call. This may not be for you if you're from the old school. And people start telling me, they would start reaching out to their nieces and nephews. And, and that's how I started to build the group. Now, I came with the knowledge. But they, they, they grew up in the era where they already got the phone in their hand. 
They wanted money and minutes. You know the background we came from. I think, I think everybody on this call, for the most part, might be you know a little bit older. We're going to have some young folk on here, but I'm talking to the more of the season. And we come from a background when you see something good, our parents taught us, well, let me pray on it. You know, well, you know, let, let, let me let God lead us. You know, some of y'all, y'all know to my, let me let the Lord move me. And that's exactly why we have been in this financial crisis for generations, because everybody want to wait. But I told you at the beginning of the call that life shows up unannounced. Life don't wait. You can wake up in the morning, life like, hey, what's going on, Doc? It's today. <laughs> it's, it's about to go down, you know. So you're never prepared because everybody wanted to wait. But he never, I always tell people, he never said that in the Bible. We started that. Let me let the, the, let me let the Lord just, just give me a sign. He never said that in the Bible. <laughs> Last I'm like, where in the Bible did he say, wait for the abundance? No, he said abundance was your birthright. So he already said, go, go, it's there, go. But we, because of laziness, like, uh, I don't want to make a decision right now. So let me just wait until it's the right time. It's never going to be the right time. That ain't life. Life is a constant emotional roller coaster. Okay? That's why you have to adapt in it. But my thing is, I studied the, I studied the market, I studied the industry, and I started paying attention. So I started getting some of these younger folk. And because of what we bring to the table from an intellect, a lot of these kids, you know, these younger folk are looking for mentorship anyway. These young girls, they're looking for a Kendra. It, she's bringing stuff like that to the table. So they get in, and I got them into the platform, and they, things started rolling. I was still getting people close to my age, but I, was, I wasn't really prejudiced to color because I want to try to become a black Superman. Let me say this also. If you're trying to just say the black, the black community in this industry, not I am, you're in home base, you're in network marketing, good luck. He made a lot of people. So I want, I, I told her, I told us, but I wasn't waiting on us because I know, I, I know me. I know, I, I mean, I don't know who else on the line, if you're mixed, whatever, but you know, I'm from 22nd and Lake College Hill project. I, I, I know, I know, I know how them folk is in the projects. I know how they is in Decatur, Georgia. I know. So my thing is, I'm gonna let you know, like the Batman symbol, but if you don't come, it's all good. Somebody gonna see that sign. So I'm gonna tell everybody, whether you're black, white, Spanish, you know, I was reaching out, but I wanted the family to know, and this is why you want to do this here in success. You want to let your family know now. If you have not gone through your list of all your, 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 your kinfolk to let them know you're in this industry, you're making a grave mistake. They don't need to see no, no Bentley roll up. No, tell them now, because they remember when you was broke, because you want to eliminate all resentment. Listen to me. I'm telling you what I know. You want to eliminate all resentment. Okay. And I know, I know what Travis, once again, you no know, teaching and working with kids and, you know, guys you know, about to go, to go to the league. This is something he can also just, I mean, from a standpoint of just the ones who he's very close to. He ain't got to be their parent, but he can say, listen, the ones that was there with you day in and day out, watch out for the ones that pop up when you get that contract. Hey, 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 nephew, I'm your great, great, great uncle, huh? And I've heard you in my life, but they're going to try to say, yeah, you know, when you was a young man, you know, I change your dice watch you when your, your mom would go to work. I'm like, I ain't going to get you no Rolls Royce because you changed my diaper. You know, I appreciate you, but I don't, I don't it's just people, everybody want to mooch when success is there. But when you're going through the struggle, you know, nobody was there. That's what I remember. So I told everybody about opportunities and I allowed my family, my kinfolk to eliminate themselves by saying that stuff don't work. So when success came and they started saying, Kendra, no, no, what's it, T Timothy, you know, I, 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 need, I, need, I need help. I say, I, I would love to, but uh, my principles, I, I, can't, I can't loan you money. I can't loan the snake oil money you said that I was doing. I can't, I can't loan you the scam money on these, these charts that we was getting, the scam money. I just, because they didn't want to get in because of the scam, but now that they see travel making money, you need a loan, I, I can't, I promise. But that place on Sunday that they put their hands together and they look up in the sky and they pray, it, it, it's still there. Is there two? Is there Sunday and Wednesday? Is there Sunday and Wednesday? If you, if you need to get there, you know, just you know, we we, we can do that. But I, my principle, the books that I read, tell me that I can't. Okay. Now, some might say, "Well, bad. That's kind of harsh." No, 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 no. You got to remember, I I let them know that we found Solomon's gold. Some of y'all heard me say that on calls that we actually have access to Solomon, you know, the Bible, King, the unlimited treasure. And I told you all you needed was one coin. 
but you was so lazy you didn't want to even travel with me you basically want to be have me bring it back to prove that it was there and then when you saw i had the riches say give me get some no you got to make that same trip you gotta go through them same mountains but it's there it's enough and then they're gonna try to make you guilty that's why in my in my heart and i've taught this I tell people when I go to places, family, I don't really have a lot of resentment because they know we all told that man no. We picked at him when he was doing calls at the family outings. They say, where's Bassett? I think he's on a three-way. He need to put that thing down. It's family time. No different than doing a call this morning. It's never the question. Device at 10 o'clock, done. We're down here in Miami. My, my, my brother is celebrating his wife's birthday, you know, so, you know, the, the weekend birthday. So we came down, Device at 10 o'clock, no problem. It's not, it's not a question. I'm about to be doing brunch. I'll get there after this Zoom call. I won't say Dubai can't do it. I got to do brunch. No, this is what I love, what I do. Does that make sense? Okay. So the opportunity itself, how we have it so simple. And you guys, honestly, sport in a good way now. We actually have the platform, the bingo. We're the only organization that I know of that does it that way. That's why I came up with that whole acronym. If I went to Travis and said, let's do HFX, he's like, HF, HF what? That's not a conversation starter. If I saw, I said, hey, man, we, we need to get you on this bingo. Bingo. Oh, but, but Travis, not that bingo. I'm talking about big bingo. Like, we're going to set you and your family up. Bingo? Really? Yeah, it's just, just jump on the call, bro. See how these, these, these business partners are really setting up people, almost giving them the, the cheat code. You just watch and do what they do. And let Travis jump on that bingo session. And this is all Travis got to do. Bro, I just... I've been in 24 hours. I couldn't tell you what a pip is, but I know them boys said, call and put, call and put. And I started seeing this thing pop on the screen and I had money in my account. I don't know how it worked, bro, but they got something special. You need to sign up. And the beautiful thing about what we have is by you letting people know at least, by them saying no, because it is so simple, it doesn't even matter. See, this ain't Mary Kate. This ain't Herbalife. We're not in a company where, uh, is it, and I'm saying your name right, is it Timothy? Is that Timothy, that, as I say your name, Timothy? Yeah. Is that, is that right? It's Timothea. <laughs> to me, to me, to me, to me, okay, to me, to me, okay. So this ain't a company where I need to to meet to meet to me, to me, to me, to me, okay, I'll get it right. <laughs> like I need her to sign up. Like I need you to buy this product. If she does not get it, we still gonna make money on bingo. Do y'all get that? Like that's different. Travis, when we when I talked to Travis, you know, we, I think this was before we even created Bingo, but I still had the confidence of knowing that young man can still coach and do what he loved. And if he say, "Well, what you doing?" Well, I know tonight I gotta go with some plays, whatever. But I can spend thirty minutes, to fifteen minutes, ten minutes to watch somebody feed me money, bro. I gotta I gotta get these coaches on this here. I got put people I grew up with. I gotta get them on this here. This is it, it gets no easier than that. You can't call about fifteen minutes. For someone to tell you, here goes some, here's the money, just take it. That's why we created it, you know, because my belief was understanding that if we can help people get to that place, now that you have the money, you can do more with it. The only thing is discipline. That's it, just, just a discipline. So it also weeds out. So that's why I tell people, you tell everybody, because one thing you guys will find out, and you probably have already realized, you'll find out who your real friends are. And how many family members really believe in you? Because the fastest way to know what somebody's heart is, is start a business. Have an idea. Have an idea. I think they, they post it on social media quite often. Talk about something negative, you get a bunch of comments. Controversy, comments. Stimulus checks, comments. Hey, I got a new venture I'm doing. Crickets. So, 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 everybody, so I'm talking about, I want to talk about some negative stuff. Comments blowing up. Everybody, everybody like, everybody like to, to see mud thrown at people. They, they love to see all that, all that controversy. But talk about something positive. Oh, here you go, here you go, Travis. Here you go again, talking about that empowerment stuff. And we've all, and we've always told people all the corny stuff works. It's always worked. Okay, it, it, all that corny stuff and that believing, all that you know, manifestation, it works. Okay. You know, and but for me, uh, if, if you, I know for, for some people who understand that there are successful people who've come before us and their teachings and business, which applies to I am, I reference Oprah Winfrey a lot, okay, because she's the epitome of the example. 
of where she comes from. And in that famous Larry King interview, when he said, it's come to our attention that you still have family members in the projects. And she said, which is like, she said with no hesitation, absolutely. And he said, man, you say that with so much vigor. Like, he said, oh yeah, because when they told me they didn't believe me, I believed them. That's it. So when she got to that status of billion, she's like, yes, yeah, people still in the projects. But people know who did believe in her, Gail. Everybody know her best friend, non-family member. Just like in this business, you have more people who are almost should be family, but they're friend. You'll meet more of them. Okay. You'll meet more of them than the ones who actually are considered blood. Okay. And uh, and that's just how God put it. I don't know the test. All I know is that I am itself, be it a trade. The reason why I preach so much about when you're trading and making money, and at least two people, because that's in the Bible. When two people touch and agree, you can tell at least two people. You got to go chairman. But nobody should be, for the most part, paying. If you don't want to build the business, you shouldn't be paying for the membership. It should be free because you should at least tell two people that know you on this planet saying, let, let me get put on. Just two. Just two. And if your goal is to go and take it further, then let's have that conversation. There's events coming up. I know there's an event coming up March the, was the 13th. I think I'll be at that event also. That's in Atlanta. And uh, if you're not promoting for the event, um, you want to start now because that's one thing that when it comes to opportunity, you got to be good at just getting people to the to the to the place. You know, you got to get people to the next level, to the next event. And right now, I think the 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 world is kind of getting back to the swing of just being more comfortable. Is, is will it go back to normal? We don't know. I don't know. I mean, I tell people just get used to your mask, okay? Because right now, I think they're having a good time with just telling people what to do. You know, just some people you, you got all these introverts. You know, not not and not the introverts that some people are, but the ones who have the control issues. You know, that's going to tell you, hey, I can see your nose. Like, excuse me? Like, they're talking to you from across the counter. You minding your business, but they felt the need because you walked by with your nose slightly exposed. They're going to yell across saying, Travis, hey, hey, hey. I, I need to make sure your nose, like, like that, that's a whole lot going on for you to say all that. But this is the world we live in now, okay? But either way, the way I get my distraction, positive thinking, business, Okay. So March, he's March the uh, yeah the thirteenth yeah March thirteenth uh, is a major event that is happening in uh, Atlanta. Um, you want to if you're in the Atlanta area, promote and get there. Now there's two other major events that I want to make sure I throw out there. I'm sure Tobias has already put it out there. Also, uh, it is Las Vegas. I think that's March twenty eighth. Tobias, is that March twenty eighth? Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think twenty yeah twenty seven twenty eight. If you know anybody on the West Coast, and I just found out yesterday the event is absolutely free. So I'm looking on the website, like, what's the cost? Because this is a big IM event that Christopher Terry, the founder, going to be at. But because he paid for the venue, he said any event that he does, that he's a part of, he wants no fee. So you got this huge event with Matty Pips, Chad Thompson, all these individuals, no fee. All you got to do is register. So anybody on the West Coast who's a part of the group, I'm sure they're going to have opportunity meetings, but you just want to get there, you know? You want to get to that event. So that's in Las Vegas. And then the major, major big one I'm excited about is the Run to Play Dream Conference in Atlanta. We'll be there as well. That's uh, April, I think, 16th, 17th, I think, Tobias? Yes, April 16th. Yeah. So, and you want to be there also because for some of you, you, you need a major event, okay? I mean, it's, it's like church. Let's keep it real. If some of us grew up in church, you can go to church all day long, but we always had a conference, you know, some big event. And they're saying the same stuff, but even the past and new, you need to see it from another realm. <laughs> <laughs> and folks go up in there and they had not fun. And now they believing in the spirit. Like we, we, we were saying it's check the same stuff on Sunday, but sometimes you got to be in a conference, a bit, another environment, you know, with a lot of the folk just, and now it's like, okay, I got the spirit in me. Okay. Same thing. It's not about the, it's, it's no, it's not about the uh, convincing. It's just a process. Okay. I think I said this on a leader's call. I said, when it comes to uh, recognition, you know, and getting recognized, you never hear about people playing sports and not getting recognized. Like, what's the point of playing? You don't play baseball to swing and go home. No, there's a there's a goal, okay? You know, I guarantee you, Travis getting up, you know, and I keep using Travis because, like I say, I, that's what I see on my screen, but him getting up and coaching, he's not just putting on the suit and teaching and doing these drills just because it's a Wednesday. There's a goal. The goal is the championship. That's it. But happiness is in the journey. 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now we 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 we're from Tampa, so you look at the whole art. Yeah, they won the championship, but all they're going to talk about is the journey, the season. That's the happening. That's the that's that's the conversation when you're sitting down with people. The season. The goal was championship, though. And the thing about it is, some people don't have those goals down. That's why we tell you, chairman, put it at five thousand customers, fifty chairman, ten. You may not believe in chairman now, but this this is there. It's five hundred customers. It's five hundred. Cu- it's, it's five. It's only five hundred customers, and I want you to think about it just like that. It's just five hundred customers. Seventy-one million people filed for unemployment last year. Seventy-one million people filed for unemployment in the United States. I think the census said it was 326 million. That's a lot of people. I'm sure we can identify 500, I mean, uh, 500 people that's looking for something. Be the beacon because your family deserves chairmanship. I'm going to tell you also, in, in home base, just giving you some more facts, there's no company, and I know in my history of this industry, that has such relaxed qualifications for that type of income. That's why I told David, is this is real? Because if you look at all companies, from the Herbalife, Amway, we know them all. You 500 customers, 10 grand? No. You gotta be a double diamond in Amway. What does that mean in customers? Uh, about 2,500 to get 10 grand a month. A double diamond, double diamond. You look at Mary Kay, to get about 1,000 a month, you need about 287 customers to get $1,000 residual. Selling makeup, and them women be out there selling that makeup for a thousand dollar residual, and you get it here with thirty. I'm like, wait a minute. I said, no, it's thirty customers, a thousand a month. I'm like, how can he? I said, bro, this people gonna kill us. If people really knew, outside of trading, trading is so good, but it's just. I'm like, we did a gamble go. I'm drinking the coffee right now. I still drink the coffee. We were doing a gamble go. Tobias, no, the gold pack was $1,300. Travis, you got to pay $1,300. If Travis, if I saw the presentation and Travis said, what's the packages? Okay, we got the bronze pack, come with six boxes. We got the uh, silver pack, it come about 15 boxes, but the gold come with 30. Travis like, yeah, man, I'm thinking about the bronze. Bronze, man, get me out, get out of here, man. Look, he, he don't want to make no money. Bro, you want to go gold. I was pushing the gold pack and I had Travis spend $1,300. On coffee, we knew, I didn't want to touch the bronze bronze pack. I would give them to somebody else, and that was two hundred. The same amount of call to join I am. It's the only package outside of the leap. But we had people buying thirteen hundred dollars, and this company says with thirty people, it's a th- you, if you had if you had thirty people buy the bronze, you won't make it a thousand a month. No, so it was just a lot of coffee. You know, you probably had maybe 400 residual, 300, but you didn't have a thousand. That is why I get so passionate. I tell people, you don't know what you have outside of the trading and the money. Okay. Also here, we close out. A profit is a profit, please. Okay. Your first profit, if you understood, and this is more so for my, uh, uh, my finance people on the call, anybody who may have a finance background, anybody who knows numbers, please. It's very important. When we say education, the first profit you make is you can shut it down. You jump on a bingo, no matter what you put in, whatever that profit is, that profit alone, whatever percentage can take you to chairman. If you know exactly what just happened, because no matter if it's five years from now, your bank will never pay you that amount of money in a minute in a month or in a year. Once I understood what that was, the real game of chess, I'm like, oh my God, people don't understand. I don't need to pull up in a Maybach. That percentage of you kicking that whatever money, and I don't care if you put $5, $10, and that thing kicked back $15, that percentage you made in minutes, you can take that story and sign up everybody. Oh, I need you to make a little bit more money than that. Nah, bro, you don't understand. Do you know you need $1.5 million in your account, your bank account, to even come close to, to, to that return? 
You didn't know that? Oh, yeah, it's a game, bro. They're going to get you point zero 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 one percent Yeah. No matter how you can keep on having your money deposited, your checking, your pay stub, you ain't going to get no return like that in five years. I did that in a second. I still don't even know what I'm doing. I'm 99% naive. But I was told that that percentage, if we understood what that was, that's how we could change our whole financial tree, our whole background. That financial curse, that last name, bro, this is start. They got some here. Oh, well, Bass, what if it, um, you know, what, 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 well, how, how long would this last? Okay, well, it ain't a fact because it's connected with the banks. So the only way for us to stop doing IM mastery and trading, all banks in the, in the world would need to stop and cease. What do you think about that? The whole financial scope of banks, and we know that ain't gonna happen because if it is, then you're talking about revelations. So it's over anyway. <laughs> so that ain't gonna happen. So we like, it's good. We, we, we straight, we straight. So long as you know and take those blinders off of What's the bad thing that happened? No. That's again, that's us. That's just people, but black folk. Always looking for the negative. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the no, it's no negative. No. Well, well, Travis, it sounds too good to be true. And Travis can come back and tell him, and so is God's salvation. So give me a different excuse. Okay. Because the, we, we still think about opportunities. One thing about faith, most people who come with faith, a lot of people on this call, you come from that background, I can't nobody shake you with that faith. But yeah, you don't know nobody in your family who came back. But let somebody come in your household. Let somebody come in your mama's household talking against God. You got to get them out for your mama get to them. And then she's going to get in you saying, why you bought that person in my house? I'm like, ma, I didn't know he would go that route. But her faith and your faith is so locked in. Can't nobody tell you that it don't exist. But ain't nobody ever. And that's what's required. Based on what we do that's why i tell people when i move in that same spirit i'm like people is gonna be people because it's all based on what they think and if you think that this on if this ain't gonna work fine okay all right let me leave you with this here when it comes to your success and again promote for the event get people to the event allow us to do the heavy lifting okay use us as the examples everything tobias showed you when it came to you know what we've been able to do success they i use david all the time okay before they even know who I am. They just think I'm just a guy in the business. Great. Because I was never that whole ego and do you know who I am? And the egocentric stuff. No, it's good to have an ego. It's the egocentric part for me. That's the one that, that's not me, okay? But you want to utilize us. Everybody wants to know you got access to the plug. If they know you're working with millionaires, they like, connect me. We got the sauce, so promote that. Get that, get people there. We want, I want everybody to experience some form of what we call the number one lifestyle. Whether you're a six-figure trader, or you have a 50 and 50, making money on the trading side and making money on the, on the residual side. Get it all. We got one life to live, okay? But when it comes to your, your faith not being shaken, you know, staying connected, personal development is key. I don't know what book you're reading outside of the Bible, but if you need suggestions, um, The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, you should get that. The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. You should get that, Okay. Another book, if you've already heard about it, How to Win Friends and Influence People, okay? I think about Dale Carnegie, right? How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, okay? So The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, How to Win Friends and Influence People, okay? I don't need this. I mean, if you haven't seen, if you haven't read Think Grow Rich, that's, a, that's just a bonus, Think and Grow Rich. But I'm gonna give you a bonus one. It's called Hung by the Tongue. Hung by the Tongue. Because words are everything. Hung by the tongue. Let me see if I can get the author real quick. Forgot I got it, Bass. Francis P. Martin. There you go. Yeah, put it on it. Put it on there. Don't be worried about the image on there, Trub. It's deep. It's deeper than that. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a play on words and a play on image. But it's talking about what you say and why people are where they are because of what they say and who are around what they say. How they talking. Girl, that, that ain't for me, girl. You just spoke it. I don't, I don't think that I don't think that can happen for us. Okay. You know. Being around people that's constantly telling you, nah, this, this, they, they, they only want to be in your space because you're good to gossip with. That's it. That's it. So therefore, the words you're speaking and what you're hearing, that hum by the tongue is strong. That's a bonus. Okay? Again, all the corny stuff works. Is this going to help you out in IM Mastery? Absolutely. Absolutely. The whole vibration of having people around you. All I want you guys to be very good at doing, if you're still learning how to do, Presentation is bounce pass. That's all I ask people. 
And if you get anybody, it's a bonus. If you get anybody who is a celebrity, some people have celebrities in their back pocket, but you're afraid to pull them out. Pull them out. We work with all of them. There's no one who's above, okay? My iPad couldn't work, but I, what I wanted to show before I uh, get off the line, but his iPad connection not working. But we just signed up Angela Simmons. You know, Russell Simmons, I think that's his um, niece. Uh, but I think she got like 7 million followers on, on Instagram. And uh, she clearly doesn't need the money. Russell Simmons is a billionaire. Uh, but we were on the phone talking to her because just like some of you guys, a guy who's in the organization named Wayne, his wife went to school with her and they stayed connected. But she never tried to get Angela in. And one day in conversation, Angela said, so how were y'all able to kind of do during, during the pandemic? Oh, we, we were doing well, we were trading. She said trading. And when she heard what they were doing, she says, I want more information, but not really for her. She said, I got a bunch of women, single women who have been hitting me up all last year. They got, you know, went through a lot of bad stuff and they was looking for something. And she said, I had nothing to offer. I couldn't, she said, if that's something, I want to see who got you guys in. I got him on the phone with, with David. She's launching Guess We Speak. But, but what's interesting is Angela said, you could have been called me. Why didn't you call me? Well, I thought we had to. She said, no, we went to school together. You didn't have to wait till you went to, no. She said, you could have called me and told me off rip. You know, and if I was still would have said no, but at least you called me. A lot of you got access to very influential people. From real estate, whatever it is, do not be afraid to pull that card out and just bounce back. Let us show them what we already know. Kevin Garnett saying, Ray Lewis saying, Floyd Mayweather. It's all kind of celebrities who are in the business, okay? That they love what we do because we're doing something positive, okay? All right? Your tipping point is right around the corner. So I'm not going to keep you guys on too long. Uh, I'm excited for the events that are coming up in March. Uh, also, the March, the Vegas event and the Atlanta event. Make sure you get your ticket, promote big for that. OK, we'll, we'll practice social distancing, but we're going to make an impact. And then make sure you go online and register for that dream conference. I think it's $97. I think it was like 800 tickets that was left that Justin told me. We want to make sure we promote for that heavy. We're going to be in the building very strong for that event. And a lot of you, for the most part, it's just time to level up. OK, this year is all is restored 2021. That's my speaking. That's what I'm talking about. Anything that was lost, anything that was taken away ever, forever, all is restored in 2021 because you deserve the absolute best. So I think I, look, I went a little bit more over than what I wanted. I said 10, 1056 is crazy. I think I just started talking. But, uh, but, it, but a lot of you guys have access to me. And, if you, um, and, and I'm also in the chat. So I, I'm, I'm constantly always you know, posting in the chat, communicating. Uh, some of you, you know, right there in the cusp of P150, P600, just, just get it done. Just the company is giving you free money. It's 150 a week. It's a P600. Take it. <laughs> Take the money. <laughs> Trade with the company's money. Okay. That's OPM, other people's money. <laughs> it's, it's just just 12 people. Okay. 12 people. Trust me. People are crying over a $600 stimulus check and they're giving us free money. Take the money. Just take it. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, Tobias, I appreciate you guys here on this uh, Saturday. Uh, once again, go off, enjoy yourself. Uh, keep believing. We got bingo again this week. Uh, strong February. We got some special for the whole organization in March because we're doing a uh, a beta testing right now. I'm just going to say this here um, without letting the cat out of the bat. There's two things we're doing. We're going to be doing a a big trade a thon with the whole organization where we're beta testing a new strategy for an HFX bingo where we can also have signals. So there's a private group that we have put together. We got about 50 people in there and we've been um, beta testing. I say we're going to do it for 30 days. And we're going to be throwing out HFX signals that you can call HFX now. Uh, and after a month, based on the results, we'll roll out to the entire organization. So now we not only have bingo and we have the Forex signals group, but you're going to be able to tell people we got an HFX signals, I meaning you can get a signal, HFX that's in minutes, but still catch it, set it and forget it. Oh, it's going to be game over. So it's a lot of benefits when it comes to what it is we do. And we're doing all this here for the totality of you and your family, and your legacy. So with that being said, Prosperity Group, super excited for you guys, Tobias Carter, man. Super excited for you guys here, man. And uh, once again, this year, there'll be chairmen in this organization. I'm super excited to be a part of that, okay? Uh, with that being said, I'll turn it back over to you, sir. Appreciate you, Mr. Grant. Appreciate you guys. Hey, I, I thank you, everybody, that was able to get on. Please make sure I will drop the recording in the chat for anybody who... Uh, 
were not able to make it due to being at work or anything like that. I know, I think Jeff was at work, but I think he's listening on, but appreciate you, Mr. Bass, Mr. Grant for getting on, man. I, I always, but before you go, I, ha I have to ask, I have to ask because we get this question all the time and I just want to get your professional opinion on it. Because yes. One of the things that people get caught up on when they're prospecting and they're sharing this information with their, their family, friends, whatever. When someone says, and they ask this question. Okay. How much money are you making? What should <laughs> be your response? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm the king of rebuttal. So any it, question, exactly, exactly. man, but we should have, we should have done that for all that, okay? Um, but when anybody asks you, you can write this down here. So anybody asks a question, uh, hey, uh, so how much money have you made, okay? Or uh, uh, show, show me a check, okay? There's several layers you can do with this here, but the deep part is, they're basically trying to get into your business. So when somebody would ask you, well, well, how much money have you made? I say, well, before I show you that, let me see your W-2. Show me your W-2 first and I'll show you mine. So, so but how much money have you made? No, let me, let me see your W-2. And then I'll show you mine. I don't want to do that. I say, exactly. I say, do you know the, the disrespect of showing, trying to ask a grown man or a woman to see their finance? I want to make sure you're making money. Oh, we're making money, sweetheart, but let me see, because I'm assuming you work a job, but let me see your W-2 before I show you mine. Because that, if they, if they don't want to do that, that's my personal, exactly. What I make has no inclination of what you can make at all, period. I said I'm working with very successful individuals and millionaires. I'm trying to get you access. What I make should not be your decision of if you should do this. Because what I what I do has been around longer than your parents and your parents' parents. So so it's a little long winded, but the how much money have you made is kind of on that line. I've always told people just ask because there's disrespect. Really, what they're saying is they don't have the money. That's why they ask all these in, intellectual questions. You know, well, how much money have you made? Well, show me your W two first, and I'll tell you how much money I made. And if that kind of so moves you in a different way, then. Ask me a different question because what I make should not be ramifications of what you should be doing. Because what's the number? Some people say, well, what's the number I need to tell you to get you to move? Oh, I don't know exactly. There is no number. They're just talking just to say it because for them, it's like, I need to sound like I'm smart. Another one, they would say, well, I've already told you about the whole, if it sounds too good to be true. Okay. All right. Well, well, Bass, um, uh, they say these things here, so like when it's like, like a pyramid thing. It is. It is. It's not a pyramid scheme, though. There's a difference. So you was, un you was misinformed. See, a pyramid is business. Everything, everything in life, even from the head of the household, everything is built on solid foundation. It's the scheme part for me. See, a scheme. See, a scheme is something that has, y'all can write this down, has no product or services rendered. That's 1962, Attorney General. That's what a pyramid scheme is. Something that has no product or services rendered. Man, I just told you about a service and you're here talking about shapes. I, I told you, I showed you a real opportunity and you started giving me shapes. One thing I would tell people also, if anybody, and it's actually, I'm gonna say this here, I actually go back to the, how much money you made. If anybody was to ask you how much money you made, you said too much. You actually said too much. They never should ask you how much you made because you should be telling them from a standpoint, how long you've been in the business. Never tell them how long. So when they say, Ken, how long you been in? The answer is, I just got started. That's, that's how you eliminate the, how much money you made. Never tell them how long you been in. Cause they gonna ask them. Hey, hey Daniel, how long, how long you been in? Brother, I just got started. Well, how much money you made? Brother, didn't I just tell you I just got started? Now they jump on the call and hear that Daniel been doing it for 60, 90 days. They say, they say I thought you said you just got started. I did. When God wakes me up, I get started. <laughs> Yeah. As a matter of fact, that actually is the answer. Okay. I kind of gave the more long winded, but that, that actually is the answer to how much money you made. See, how much money you made means you said too much or you told them. And some of y'all know that. They ask you how long you've been in. Brian, how long you've been in? Oh, we've been doing it for four months. How much money you made? They set you up. So I never, I tell people, never tell them the distance. I don't care if Kendra been doing this six months. You got to be prepared that once you tell them how long you've been in, they finna ask for those finances. Now, if you're doing quite well, oh, slap across the head with baby powder. 
they still ain't gonna do nothing because <laughs> it ain't their money. But it's gonna feel, it's gonna make you feel good knowing that you you crush the market. But I always tell them I just got started, okay. But I do know some people though that's killing it right now. That's why I want to get you on this call. I want to get you on this uh this bingo session. That's how you do that, okay. Because but but all of those from the pyramid scheme to you know how much money you made to it sounds too good to be true, you know all of that stuff, okay. You know, it all come down to majority of them is I don't have the money. And this is what I'll leave you with here. This is, I love rebuttals. Okay. So for everybody on the call, you know, and I'll you my man, Brian here, you know, big ups to Mr. Brian. You know, I know Brian is one of the people when we first got started with Tobias, he was right there. So it's always good to see those people in the mix when they, when people first get in. So, so if, if somebody's preaching to or talking to you guys and it's like, it sounds good, Brian. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, but really I just don't have the money, Brian. I want everybody to say this, please do this here. You need to, because people need to hear the real. If they tell you, I don't have the money, you look them dead in the eye, or if you're on the phone and you tell them, how does that make you feel? And don't say another word. We used to call it back in the day, Wi-Fi. Wait for Wi-Fi, W-F-A, wait for an answer. How does that make you feel? Man, it don't feel good, man. And then I say, exactly. So we just identified that it's not a opportunity situation. It's a money situation. So when you get your money up, you hit me up, okay? We're going to be here. We're going to bingo. All blessings. Holler at me in 60 to 90 days when you get the money up. I got more phone calls to make. Click, and I leave them. We would leave them with that emotion. Because they got to get the To some people, it's a realization that, yeah, I ain't got no money. Exactly. But you're not going to transfer that emotion to me to try to ask me how much money I made. Is it a pyramid to get me off my rocker? Nah, you just ain't got the money. But you're trying to sound very smart, and that's fine. Okay? But never never tell them how long you've been in unless you're ready to give up those finances. But when they say they don't have the money, don't, don't have them leave you with that. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it's, it's, it's strong. It's it's. It's the good psych psychology, as we call it, not the bad. We're not into the manipulation, no. Some people need to really hear, you broke. And that's fine, because even a broke clock is right two times a day. So we can, you can be, it's, it's, we can get this right. Poor is different. Poor mentality, I, I can't do nothing for you. That's all, that's all they were apathy. Poor mentality, y'all wasting your time. Leave them folk alone, alone, because you might get what they have. But a broke person, I will help all day long. Because they, that can get fixed. A broke clock can be fixed. A poor mentality cannot. It is what it is. Okay. And if you understand that, you're, some of y'all was like, you know what? I've been trying to help a lot of people close to me, my friends, but how can you help the poor if you're one of them? <laughs> you can't. All right. So get your mindset out and take care, take care of yours. Then we, we, we become the beacon for everybody else. Okay, that's how it is. All right. So, uh, but again, any rebuttals, all that stuff, I love that. I when I say I love it, anybody. That's how you stay in this industry so long. You because you have a passion for it, but you get we get so good at doing what we do for so well. I find the enjoyment of just seeing how God is making all these people that uh, all this time and we see people still think the same way with all this opportunity. So, so any rebuttals, anything new you think you ain't never heard of, uh, holler at me or. You know, hit, hit, hit Tobias, so, hey, I got a rebuttal I ain't never heard before. Bass got an answer for this here? I probably do. <laughs> Let me know, okay? So my goal is to have everybody succeed, okay? Uh, and, and same thing, Tobias. If you hear one, let me know, bro. I, I got an answer pretty much for all of them. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate Anytime. You. Hey, thank you again, Mr. Grant. Thank you guys Anytime. for you guys' time, man. Have a great Saturday. I see everybody at Rigby's. That's in Central Georgia. We have a good time today with the team out man. Appreciate you again, Mr. Grant. Hey, see you guys at the top, man. Love you guys.